Meanwhile, Two hours, mooncake. Oh, oh my, god. my god! Then everybody hated mooncake after that. I think the K-pop idol one was quite rabat also. Like one chicken breast, like for one whole day. Then I see already, I was like, huh? Oh my god, shag. That oh, one really like yeah. fei one. Don't eh. eat book, staff book. Oh my god, you know what I really want to eat? Like one of those like seafood bags. Like you know the one they boil the whole seafood inside, and then one bag is like hundred dollars. Then you just like, Wah. yeah. Then you pour everything on the table, then you can eat like the crab. I just want to say that it's very expensive being me because like. Every time you know you eat expensive food, and then the expensive food, the portion them small, so I need to eat like a lot to be full. So um, it's a bit hard. So actually, like there's one thing that like, wow, I always like want to eat right, but it's really like really treat myself that I'll eat one, right? which is uni. <sighs> But when I go to a good restaurant, right, and then the uni is like sweet, creamy, and then like got the taste of sea, right? Oh my god, I will cry one day. <laughs> so She's about to cry this Yeah. Days. You eat already, right? You will legit be thinking about it for like days. I think you look at your bank account and you're like, ah, oh, yes. I'll keep up with this. I like very technical food. So you know the potato, then they make into like small mini towers, that one. Then they put cream fresh, spring onions on top, and then they put caviar on top. Technical, like highly technical food. So for this episode of 72 hours, you guys will be eating. How fancy? Wait, 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 wait. How fancy? Wait, wait, wait. Hey. Say one more time. Wait, hey. <laughs> Confirm got some like twist or what. Every time make us like eat yeah. until want to cry Fancy one. then left $10, $20, $30. Wow. Are you serious? Uh? Like for this real, is too, real. too good to be true. Like I mean like, I, I didn't participate in enough 72 hour What's challenge. The but there's twist? always got tweets. Also, to help you with your spendings for this challenge, we have partnered with City Gourmet Pleasures. Only she got a cashback yes, credit card. I got the I... reward card. Yes, it's my first ever credit card, by the way. I applied for it, right? Because at the time there was some promotion, like either right. they give you cash or they give you like AirPods or mm. Apple Watch, that kind of thing. So I was like, I need a credit card anyway. I'm spending so much money, and then they got cash back, and then they got points, and then they got like discount, discount, discount. How much you spend on food actually? There was one month I ate Hai Ti Lao, like in the span of eight days, I ate it five times. The thing about cashback, right, is that money will appear in your account when you least expect it. And then you don't think about how much you spend, but then they give you money. Okay, uh, then I take it as like pocket money to myself. Exactly, it's a, <laughs> it's a present from past me to future me. I'm the least traumatised one here, right? So I'm just going to believe in this challenge and just eat my heart out. Unlimited budget, right? I hope you guys can hear me over the music. I am going to get... Most of the premium things here, it's that fancy a bit lah. I order salad also, since I can pay for overpriced vegetables today. And also, I'll get a high ball. Lunchtime high ball before the meeting, don't learn ah. If you haven't guessed it already, I'm at Torashu. And I'm actually here for their uni and ikura ramen. And this is the dipping sauce. Uh, guys, I think I messed up. So I saw a kaisen salad, right? Which is like sashimi with salad. I thought it would be damn fancy. But I forget that. I ordered the premium set, right? Also got salad. <laughs> I got two salads. Yo, I have no idea, man, but I'm just gonna eat. This is gonna be a solid first meal. Solid rice, solid sauce. Mm, there's three kinds of meat also. So this is probably the chick now, eh? I will never expect myself eating fatty pork chick. They grilled it and then they put a layer of soy and meat marinade on it. And they continue grilling it, so genius. The meat is tender. La. Usually, I'm not the biggest fan of pork loins. Just because of how minimal fat there are. The sauce tastes the same throughout all the meat. I think the grilling part, they did super super well. I'm just having a struggle thinking about my salad right now. Because, wait the salad first, then I eat this one, then no space already. Solid meal, gonna eat anything I want. Yeah, I don't think this will be a hard challenge. La. The hard challenge is for my wallet too. <laughs> I guess this is gonna be my best friend for the entire challenge with the whole 6% cashback thing. But I don't think mine have the 6% cashback. Like. Mine is just to get the offers. <laughs> this is the uncle mood. The sauce has this umami fragrance, which is not very salty or overpowering. And then like when you get the uni mixed with it, right? Wow, it's it just like the it just perfumes your whole mouth with like the taste of the sea. And I freaking love it. It's so nice. Normally like uni that's not fresh, right? There's this like weird bitterness and musky taste to it. But this is so sweet and fragrant and like oh my god, so shook. I hear goes.
To be honest, right, I've been to Croatia a few times and this has been something I always wanted to order. But I always hold back because it's so indulgent. Eh? It's like $34 for Superman. To actually like pay like $34 for a bowl of noodles right, is actually quite a lot for me. If not for this challenge, right, I will never get to eat this. <laughs> it's the first day dinner. Since I've been feeling pretty hungry all day, I was thinking, you know what? Let's just go for a buffet. I'm going to be super strategic about it and today I'm going to be very disciplined. We're going to go for all the expensive and yummy things. On my way in, I saw like there's quite a lot of good food and they have a seafood bar. I also heard they have a steak bar. I need to plan to see what I want to eat so that I can try everything. Right now, I'm in Bari Uma, really one of my favourite ramen place. It's probably got the strongest tonkotsu ramen broth in Singapore. La. I am going to get the Ajitama Chashu Uma, which is like tonkotsu plus shoyu, and then with like a lot of chashu. Of course, we are going to fancy tonight, right? I'm going to pick my second favourite Japanese thing to eat, which is tempura! So I'm here at Tenjin because like some of my friends were saying that like the tempura is really good here. Let me show you guys what I will start with today. It's supposed to be really good because it's from like Ireland. I'm not even kidding. The moment you bite into the beef, it's so freaking tender. It's the perfect medium rare without being like chewy and gross. So you all know how I've been like super excited about the seafood boil. I picked a little bit of seafood and then gave it to the chef. I need to prepare it and oh my god, this really, this place is really like, did not disappoint. Look at this situation, guys. It's freaking insane. Eh? Like honestly, oh my god, it's really a lot of food. No playing with sesame and my noodles are here. You can see that they come with four slabs of chashu, one egg. Look at how the soup cling on to the noodle. Like everything is so, everything is so saturated with soup. Look at it. Look at how shiny it is. Thick, salty, porky, savory, achy. Really, really to me, one of the best bowls of ramen in, in Singapore. Look at the fruit chashu. Fats are completely soft. There's a tender bite to the meat. Smoky. If you guys are a fan of ramen like me, this is probably the place to go. Yeah, I'm waiting for my food now. But apparently, I've been told that if you spend a minimum of $60 and you pay your Citibank card, you get $6 off your bill. Eh. This is a tempura moriwase set. You know what is this? It's truffle cha mushi. I think if I'm not wrong, they added truffle kumbu inside. The chawamushi is very silky. It's seamless on the egg. Considering that they added so much truffle, right? It's actually very mellow at eh, the taste. Wow. This is one of the most nun tempura prawn I've ever eaten eh. Like there's a firmness to it. When you bite into it, it just like breaks easily. Wow, I'm quite mind blown by this texture. One of the things that really caught my eye is the oyster, uni, and ikura. So I'm gonna get that. And then I'm gonna get a large set. It's so exciting. Apparently, right, when I ordered the dessert, uh, to make it the set, there's dessert plus wine. So today I got sparkling water for lunch and a glass of white wine for lunch also. Yeah, this is not normal. <laughs> this is not normal. Usually I just eat my Thai fun, but this is not normal. So, so cheers and do a good lunch. And it's lunch time. So I decided to go back to my roots and eat Chinese today. And it's Xiao Long Bao. This is something that I always wanted at Dynasty. But then I never order because I budget. <laughs> So these are the two oysters that I ordered. I ordered them with uni and ikura and part of the lunch set also comes with this like salmon don which looks really good. Ikura is really nice. Um, it doesn't have that like very strong sea taste and the flavour is quite nice. It's very good. Oh. It's very creamy, it's very fresh. There's a like sweet aroma to it when you eat it. The oyster is super creamy and like together with the creamy uni and the whole thing complements each other super well. I'll get addicted to eating this. This is very bad. It's very expensive. But it's worth I am having so man with uni, scallops, caviar and just look at this, look at this. Fresh, sweet, savory. Wow. Thank you, Ibu. 
So this is the Tonkatsu Sando. We mentioned it as the Z level one, but level up 10 times because of the kick that the real master seat brings and the sauces that they use. Uh. Good lunch, uh, good lunch. Uh. Yes, thank you. If you want to eat the Xiaolong Bao, right, you have to eat in this order. But what we did is like, we ate this and then I like, skipped right to the crab roll. We just like rebel, okay? Live our own life, eat what we want. Every time I see this, right, I think of Faris in our 72 hour air fryer challenge. So how you pronounce this? Vismili. Vermicelli. A very refreshing like palate cleanser when you are eating all these like heavy tasting food. Getting back to the office now and get the bill. Hello. 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 Because I have not. Like, oh my god, honestly, I'm damn impressed by this. The guy was telling us about the story about the four bar kaya and that apparently this recipe has been retained since they first opened. You're gonna see this at the start of every clip. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's very nice! Y'all come and try this for yourself. I don't know how to explain to you. Like, like the only way to describe it is like it's very delicate in terms of like how the meat tastes. Like, it's basically the seafood on ice here. It just came and oh my god, it's a work of art there. Eh. The texture of the fish is like no other sashimi that I've ever tried before. Like how else to say like the food is really good without saying that the food is really good. Honestly, the entire dining experience has been super pleasant. Once in your lifetime, come and try something like that. I mean honestly, like, where is the last time you ate like food that was so good they brought you to Tim's? I think like they want to close the restaurant, yeah. So for today, I'm going to be paying for my dinner using the Citibank Cashback Plus card. So for this particular restaurant, not only do you get the 6% cashback, you also get 15% off all a la carte items on the menu. Which is a really good deal because I mean, you want to go and eat something nice and then get a little bit of discount, yeah. Not bad, yeah. I have no idea what I've gotten myself into. <laughs> so nice. When the fire is out, then you have to do it again. Right. We have vanilla ice cream with the orange sauce and the crepe. One of the best desserts I've tasted with vanilla ice cream. So if you like yuzu, right, you'll like this, 100%. We have the Iberico pork pluma and also the braised pork chick. And then we also have green fat USDA ribeye. Smoky, charred, strong punch of the beef taste. Uh, one plate of uh, 200 grams of beef here probably is like uh, 60, 60, 50 plus 60. So, so just to that, just to Ibu. Thank you, Ibu. <laughs> Thank you, Ibu. <laughs> no regrets, I think. This place is good if you want to really like celebrate something like that. They even have like beef on a wagon where they bring the beef to your table side and then let you choose the cuts of beef. I just enjoyed the night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I never see pasta is crushing. It's so good. Why are you my friend here? Mm. The pasta has a very good like bite to it and the flavor. Oh my god. Do you want the GDLL? <laughs> the beef cheek just like melt in your mouth. I don't even have to like chew it. So actually like Chiquetti is my favorite Italian restaurant but they are closed for a renovation. So I come to Bar Chiquetti which is like a more condensed menu. So if you're ever on book for Italian food right, just come for this too. It's really like, to me it's like one of the best like, We ordered two pastas, we ordered two sides, one pizza is on the way, and two drinks. Like, oh my god, I don't know, everything smells very nice, everything just smells very nice. So I actually ordered their burger lunch set which comes with a burger of my choice. I got a brisket, the brisket is like the best here. Um, fries and also a glass of beer again. If people come to KS Cafe, they will order pasta and stuff right. There's actually some things that I really wanted to try but I, I thought it would be a bit ridiculous. Huh? I'm gonna order. The laksa. Oh my god, guys, there's a lot of veggie table on this. E veggie. E veggie. Oh, it's actually not bad. Yeah. 
I'm impressed by your feet lah. If I never try right, honestly I wouldn't believe that it can taste like that. But it's really quite nice. I would say this is a bit more like modern. Salmon is very fresh. The salmon is not dry at all. It is like cooked well and you don't have the fishy smell. The batter is really nicely seasoned. I don't know about y'all but every time I eat chicken wings, like, the chicken wings like must be crispy kind. So for our carbonara, we ordered it with the fusilli pasta. It's a kind of carbonara where it doesn't feel too creamy until it feels a bit like uncomfortable. Gotch grilled eggs with caviar on top. Bro, this is so good. This is so good. I hope you guys can hear me. Because it's pretty noisy here. Dude, this is still brilliant. Look at how how juicy it is. Look at how well smoked it is. Look at it. Look at it. Wow. This is melt in your mouth level kind of beef. The bread is perfectly toasted. Do you have zero complaints at all? Thank you, Ibu. For me to eat this for lunch, right, is really a big blessing. Wow. 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 I'm speechless, eh, because that's really how good it is, eh. Rasa with crab and corn. I love that they use like the thin bee hoon instead of chew mee fun because I'm not really a fan of chew mee fun. The gravy is more on the soupier side. Gravy I don't like to eat top pork. I appreciate that maybe they toasted this until that it's like quite crispy. It's a bit like a yutiao ish kind of texture. It's actually nice actually. We are here. Do you know how big the menu is? <laughs> we go try the calamari! Mm. The batter is super well seasoned. Calamari is not rubbery at all because it's just hot and fresh. It's like warm and it's crispy. It's very nice. Uh, I'm having ota. The ota comes in like two big slabs of ota. The meat is mackerel, one of my favorite fish out there because it doesn't dissolve that easily. And the coolest thing right, is that they have four different kinds of leaves that are added into the ota. There's lime leaf, like upper lime, lemon, turmeric, and. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> it's not like any ota that we've eaten. There's a solid bite to it. You are getting substance, you are getting taste, and yeah, this is super enjoyable. Oh wow guys, we came out here and I'm going to have dinner with a few. I don't know if you can see. The baby sardines makes up the webbing. And like, when you bite down, right, the taste of the sea is a bit roasted. It's a very fun thing to eat. You want to wash it down with some something? This really has like some like fruity citrusy fragrance undertone. So nice. Very good for appetizer. This is the first time in my life I'm eating king crab, like Alaskan king crab. Also like, why they serve everything at this restaurant got so much vegetables on the side one ah? The char grill is really well done. You can taste like a little bit of like the burnt grill in your crab itself. There's something about the meat that is super like rich and yummy. And even if you don't eat it with the sauce, like by itself it's really nice. This 72 hours, not only am I eating a lot of expensive food, I am discovering a lot of expensive food that I like. Terrible for my wallet because from now on like, dude, I'm gonna be thinking about this crab for a very long time. So a couple of things I ordered. The first one is a uh, ayam tempura. It comes literally an egg with like all the bracing liquid and all the sauces just right there. Lah. So I think this would be perfect with rice. That's the chicken on the rice. Get the sauces. House made sambal chili here. Apparently right, it's super spicy. You would think that it's very kao right? And it gets, it's gonna get gelat right? But it doesn't. Eh? It's really a lightly braised chicken with a lot a lot of aromatics and a lot of flavour. For the soup, you got a pig trotter with salted vegetables. I think it's like a toned down version of people who cannot take the salted duck. Salted vegetable duck sauce. Okay. Salted vegetable duck soup. This is a very good entry level to the whole of salted vegetables. Uh. And one of my favorite drinks is the old fashioned. But the thing about this old fashioned right, is that they make it with gula melaka instead of the simple syrup. So, yes, good drinks, good food. It's the last meal of my 72 hours here, and it's been a good three days. Bank account taking a hit also. Uh, but thank you ebook for putting me on this challenge. Uh, I appreciate it a lot. And payment time. Don't see I don't I don't see the number and okay. Thank you. So I just love this. <laughs> it's a whole grill sweet. And it smells so good. I like the seasoning. It's a very unique taste to it. And they have skewers. So this is tomato bacon. Mentaiko tamago. Oh my god, I'm very excited to eat this. Sweet potato, chicken, and shiitake. The sweet potato is like, like it's super gao. Sweet potato mushina fam. It's not overly sweet. Tamago is like really firm and sweet and warm. 
then with the mentaiko sauce and I think like there's like bits of like roll inside right so wow the whole bite is like wow it's a perfect bite <laughs> Like the abuli salmon is very soft. Then as you bite in, and when you reach the center, it's like got a tempura crunch. And then just like wow, the texture and the flavor it just explodes. Yeah. Hello. Hey. <laughs> best seventy two hours ever. of the year. Of the year. Of ever. my I career. Can ever, I can ever. Have best seventy two hours of my career. <laughs> Thank you ebook for not calling me halfway and telling me that I need to eat some weird thing suddenly. The most paise one right was um there was one day I was in a lunch place and then I over there like with my phone vlogging vlogging oh and everyone gosh, walking yes. in in their suits and everything that I, I like I mean, it's for the job. Yeah, it's for the job. It's for the job. Yeah, for the job. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we knew it good for for the job. Yeah, yeah. I have no yeah. choice yeah. lah. Yeah. There, there came to a point of time right where I just take the bill right and then I told the camera Payment time, I don't see the number and okay Thank you 200 plus confirm have Easily ah, 200, I think the most expensive one that I had was like almost 500 What? It's the 15 Stanford by Alvin Long The appetizer itself is already 38 plus The cold seafood was 68 plus The meat platter <laughs> The one I ate at Crab right? It was 250 bucks eh yeah. And then on top of that, we had wine We had drinks at the bar So like, I think everything at together should be have $500 Oh, suddenly I feel that like I didn't treat myself enough eh yeah. yeah, the most expensive one I had was the one at Bachi KP It was only shy of $200 eh So what I get right, in my first place, they offered me truffle fries So for all the different merchants right, there are different deals law just for my card lah, right? I think for the merchants that I went to, there's a lot of like you spend this and then you get this amount off. Yeah, for me, it's great because like especially when you go and eat out with friends, right? Then you can split like the discount with all mm. people that you're eating with. Mm. It's very like you don't have to think so much when mm. you're buying. You just know that like you spend this amount of money and then you get like this amount off. Yeah. And then a few days later you go back to your account you get cash back some more. Other than the promos that you're mentioning, right, the one I get is also like if you spend this certain amount you get a voucher for like your next visit. You can use it in any like paradise group. So like you can go eat beauty in the pot. <sighs> With the voucher next time. So Gordon screwed their table side services, right? They they were saying that, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. Then I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Then after the person's like, you wanna you wanna cook? Then I'm like, sure. So I went up. How is it? It's like orange flavored crepe with caramel and butter sauce. It can be me eating the the meat plate until I started crying. I know I don't even know why I was crying. Like because <laughs> I think at that point in time when I eat, right, I was just like, oh my god, like I've never eaten so much like meat. well cooked meat. Ever. And some of that meal got like foie gras and kaya toast. So instead of butter, they put foie gras inside the kaya toast itself. But then when I tasted it, right, I was like, okay, it makes sense. And foie gras is very creamy. Okay, okay. So it kind of like replaces like the creamy butter. <laughs> but okay, I think like I ate like the best like aburi salmon maki in my life. It's just a combination of like the textures inside. Cause I think I put a little bit of like caviar on top. Then like the aburi is like somehow very, 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 very nun one eh. Then as you bite down right in the middle got tempura crunch. Oh. So it's like, it's just like a whole experience of like flavor and texture. Wow. Thank you City Gourmet Pleasures for making this video possible and if you are holding a City Cashback card, you can enjoy 6% cashback on your dining too. Get even closer to saving treats with City with an exclusive welcome gift of up to $300 cashback when you successfully apply for a City credit card. For more information, head down to the link in the description box down below. Thank you for watching this episode of 72 Hours Challenge. If you like this video, you can check out more over there. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye! Give us more money! Give us more good food!